candidates should be able to define and use the terms normal, angle of incidence, and angle of reflection. Describe the formation of an optical image by a plane mirror and give its characteristics, such as same size, same distance from mirror, upright, and virtual. State that for reflection, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, recall and use this relationship. Use simple constructions, measurements and calculations for reflection by plane mirrors. General properties of light waves. Light waves are the transverse waves and electromagnetic waves, so light can transfer energy through the vacuum. Speed of light in the vacuum is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second, which is approximately equal to speed of light in air. Light is travel in the straight line. Light wave exhibits the refraction, refraction and diffraction. We will explain the reflection and refraction later, but the diffraction of light will be studied in a level physics. Reflection of light. From the previous section of 3.1 properties of waves. We know the rules of reflection that the angle of incidence, I, is equal to the angle of reflection, R. The incident ray, reflective ray, and normal lie lie on the same plane. From this rule, candidates should able to draw the diagram of reflection of light on plane mirror. Here is the plane mirror. Here is an object. Draw the incident ray from the top of an object to anywhere on the plane mirror. Draw the normal line at right angles to the plane mirror. Measure the angle of incidence, I, between the normal line and the incident ray. Measure the angle of reflection, R, between the normal line and the reflective ray. Both angles must be equal. Draw the reflective ray. Extend the reflective ray back behind the plane mirror as dotted line, this shows it is virtual ray. Draw the second incident ray from the top of the object to anywhere on the plane mirror. Repeat the steps from the normal line and reflective ray for the second incident ray. The virtual image is created behind the plane mirror at the interception of both dotted lines. We can see the image when the reflective rays travel toward our eyes. This image is virtual, because it can only be seen by the eye. It cannot be focused onto a screen. Which is why it is virtual. The characteristic of the virtual image. The image is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front. The image is the same size as the object. The image is laterally inverted, which means left and right are swapped around. The image is right way up, or upright, as the object. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.